I'll tell you what, I can't believe that. A walk in liberty. All right, let's check the hole and... Hey, uh, wait a minute. Could this baby have some uh, a brother or a sister in there? Oh no, I got twins here. Twins, another 1940 walk in Liberty half dollar. Can you believe that? This video may be kind of a couple of parts. I'm gonna do some water hunting tomorrow, and then I got a football field that they tilled up uh, that I'm gonna do on Saturday. So I may just kind of combine all this. I've uh, been wanting to do some more water hunting, but uh, the lakes are just too high right now. They're 10 to 12 feet high, and they're closed, and so uh, we're gonna have to look at some alternative ways to water hunt. So enough talking, let's get on out there. Let's see what we can find. Well, I got a high tone right here, and it's a surface find. Right there, looks like it's gonna be. Uh, no cash value token. It's gonna be a car wash token. All right, at least it's something. We'll keep going. It's hot out here today, 90 something degrees. At least there's a wind blowing. I'm out here on the side of the park over on this side. It's kind of just an open area. But I guess getting at 11, to a 12 on my Equinox and I just popped the plug and check this out. Check that out. I don't know if that's uh, silver or, or not. I have to look at the clasp and, and see. Let's check and see if there's any more in the hole. Well, nope. that's going to be it. Let's put it up here where we can see it. Yep, that's going to be 925. Let me get my other camera and we'll get a close-up on it. As you can see, or maybe you can, out there on the class, 925. Looks like the whole chain is here. Looks like it's just broke off the one end right here. Yeah, it looks like the whole piece is here. Well, not bad for a part find. All right, we'll keep going. There we go, we focused in a little bit better. Well, I'm off now. I'm leaving uh, Central Texas, headed out to West Texas. That's the only place I can really do any lake hunting here on Memorial Day weekend. All the lakes here in Texas are anywhere from 10 to 12 feet above uh, pool level. And so I'm headed out west Texas where they didn't get as much rain, the, the water is not as high. And uh, see if we can't get our first water hunt in for the season, see if we can start getting our number of rings. So i uh, got a, about a two hour drive to go to get to this one lake I want to try to hit this morning and then five hours back home and got a football field an old football field that they dissed up and I'm gonna do it tomorrow so this video is going to be kind of a the park the lake and the uh, football field but uh, hopefully we'll get some good finds and we'll be able to make a video out of it anyway thanks for tuning in just sit back enjoy the ride I'll see you when we get to the lake
Well, I got down to my next destination. I'm out here at this lake, my first water hunt for the season. And let's see, it's not much. The lake is low, so there's not a lot of swimming area in the water. So I'm gonna hunt the beach a little bit and try to get right outside that barrier and see what we come up with. So let's get at it. Oh, aluminum junk ring. Oh well, that's a start for something. That's one. We'll see what we can get in the rest of the day. Oh, but it was ringing up like a 75. It's a silver heart cross. All right, maybe that's a good sign for the preacher digger to always dig him a cross. All right, maybe there's a ring out here somewhere. Let's keep on going. Out here today at this uh, football field that's not too far away from my house my friend called me up and told me that they were digging it up and i guess they're going to put a turf in or something they've got it all dug up you just saw the aerial so i just showed you and uh moved on from yesterday from the lake didn't really find much at the lake i'm gonna try to hit a lake later on this afternoon uh, but uh we're gonna hit this field there could have been some old houses as you can see right up there is an old house there could have been some old houses through here before they built this field uh, but I've never dug a field that we didn't find some piece of jewelry uh, or something in it So let's go. We're gonna give it an hour or two and uh, see what we can come up with and if I don't find anything I'm gonna move on to the lake this afternoon this evening and uh, see what I can find out the lake so, Well, I've been out here for about an hour and I have just found Zinc pennies and some trash. But I got out of the football field. I wasn't finding anything over there and when I was down here on this end at that last uh, little dirt pile right here, the topsoil, I looked over here and I saw this fig tree and this fig tree. Then there's a pecan tree and another pecan tree and another pecan tree. And I'm thinking, this is a homestead. And then a coach came out, I talked to him and the coach said that there was uh, definitely something out here, an old house or something. And I figured these are just not natural. You plant pecans and, and uh, fig trees. So I thought I'd come over here. Got a decent signal right here. It's coming in and out. There it is. 25, 27, 26. It's got that silver tone to it. All right, about six inches deep. Let's go down. Let's get this together. Let me mark it right there. Ah, there we go. Boy, I love this equinox. Let me get this. All right there you see it i love it when the coins look like that oh i love that what is it all right it's going to be a pop that off 1942 mercury dime all right all right if there's one silver there's got to be more out here let's keep going now <clears throat> i got this real scratchy signal right here i can barely get it on park one Barely, just I'm getting something, but when I go over to park two, I'm getting a little bit better signal. It's jumping all around. Now I go to if I go to uh, field one, right there I'm getting a good tone. Let's go to field two. Right there, oh, it's just very jumpy. I don't know. Let's try. Uh, Let's try gold. All right, gold. I'm getting a good, strong signal, six inches deep right there. Let's uh, let's go down here and let's see what we got.
definitely something here. Oh, wait a minute. I don't know if you can see that on camera. Can you see that right? Right there. Let me get some of that out of your way. Can you see that? Oh. That, that's big. That's a quarter at least. That's got to be silver. What is that? Oh, that, that looks awesome. Can you see that? Ooh, I love this. I'm over here across the fence where these pecan trees are. And uh, how deep is that? That is, that was six, six and a half inches. Six and a half inches down. Let's pull it out. Oh, look at there. That's a half dollar, folks. That's a half dollar. Oh, what is it? What's it gonna be? That's a walker. It's gonna be a walker. Uh, 1945, how about that? 1945 Walking Liberty half dollar. I wonder why it was, I could barely get it though. That was weird on the Equinox on Park One. I, I've dug stuff that's 11 inches. This is only six inches in that big silver. How come I wasn't getting that? Here comes another coach over here. That was a lawns keeper. He was telling me there was an old building right here. And uh, I'll tell you what, I can't believe that. A walk in Liberty. All right, let's check the hole and... Hey, uh, wait a minute. Could this baby have some uh, a brother or a sister in there? Oh, am I picking up my coin again? Let me get this coin out of the way. Let me turn this off and I'll turn it back on when I find something. Not gonna believe this, folks. Right there, I just uncovered it. Look at that. Right beside the other one. Is that a quarter? Can you see that? Let's see what we got. Oh no, I got twins here. Wins another 1940 Walk in Liberty half dollar. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? Look at there. A twin set of them. All right. I'm going to quit. It's hot. It's made my day. Whew. It's too hot to water. I mean, to land hunt. And it's not really that hot of a day. It's only about 85 right now, wind, but. Oh, it's just too hot for this fair skinned man. I think I'm gonna call it a day on that one. A mercury dime and a walk in liberty half spill. You're not gonna get better than that, are you? So I'm gonna head back to my truck. I've got about a 200 yard walk and uh, it's getting, I'm cooked on my neck, I'm burnt. Can you believe that? I can't believe that that walk in liberty half wasn't uh, ringing up, just blowing my ears off. It was kind of weird. They must have been, well, no, they were not quite on edge, but they were a little bit tilted, but I don't know if two of them together was mixing my signal, because uh, that was weird. I could pick it up on gold and on field settings, but I couldn't pick it up on the park settings. Just a little bit at a certain angle. But, uh, hey, I'm glad. 
I'll take it, won't you? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I'm just gonna run out here and just see. I wasn't expecting much, but when I saw that pecan grove and I saw that uh, fig trees, I knew I was gonna have to creep over there. And then I went over next to the practice field and uh, got into that. I really didn't have permission to get over there, but uh, the groundskeeper and the coach didn't say anything to me. So I'm gonna get out of here when I can. I'll come back anyway. Uh, I'm gonna head on out, go cool off, and I'm gonna head out to the lakes later on this evening and see if I can't find some more jewelry, some rings. All right, I'll see you when I get there. here today back at the lake it's on Memorial Day and uh, about 300 people out here so there ought to be something out here to find so uh, as soon as it starts clearing out here later on this evening we'll uh, go back in here and see what we can find all right let's get it. We got a pocket knife it's ringing up like a 15 on my AT Pro. All right, let's keep going. All right, we got us our first ring for the season. Let's see what we got. It's ringing up a 4647. That's going to be most likely a stainless steel ring. All right, running out of daylight. Let's keep on going. Looks like a quarter, but it didn't ring up like a quarter. It rang up. That's some type of Chinese coin. Some 10, 10 cent Chinese coin. All right, let's keep going. We got a little hot spot here. 50, 51. Let's see what that is. Can you see that down there? It's a 51, it's a necklace. Oh, that's why it was real, real staticky. That's a, a necklace, or the arrowhead necklace, with a chain. I've dug one of these up, one of the first times I ever went uh, hunting in a park, I dug one of these arrowheads up. All right, let's keep going. It's an earring. another earring all right let's keep going that's bringing up like a 72 little engagement ring i think it's just junker being 72 all right let's keep going i doubt those are real diamonds what is it alizé alizé they were staring at me and i wonder why they were staring at me but then they came up to me and they asked me if i had found a ring and it said Alexis on it. And sure enough, I have found a ring. Right here. So Alexis, I'm glad to give your ring back to you. Thank you. Yeah. Well, that's great, man. That's, that's, that's even better. Even finding a ring is being able to return the ring and stuff. So that's awesome that we can do a re ring return back here at the lake. So another good day. So let's keep on going. What do you think to say? No? All right. <laughs> we'll, we'll see y'all later then. Well, it's been a long day. I've been out here for about three or four hours out the lake and finishing up my M Memorial Day weekend. Uh, you, uh, I've been out uh, Central Texas and did a little park hunting. I went out to a lake and uh, found a little bit there. And I came back home and uh, hunted another lake yesterday. Didn't find anything at that lake. And uh, came out today to one more lake to finish out my weekend. Found some good stuff here and had a good re ring return. Uh, that you saw earlier in the video. That was really awesome. Uh, the little girls were just staring at me and finally they got the courage to come up and ask me. And uh, so it was really good. I was able to get the ring back. Let me turn you around here. Let me show you what I got on this hunting adventure. All right, it's hopefully my truck lights are getting enough light here. It's uh, bugs are everywhere. I've got all, here's all the trash, tons and tons of pull tabs and bottle caps, aluminum cans and everything else. I got uh, two toy cars here 
and uh, I've got three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen quarters, and two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen dimes, two nickels, and uh, I got six, twelve, eighteen uh, pennies. Uh, I got a couple of earrings. Got that one and this one and that one. Three earrings. I got a a pocket watch here. I mean, not pocket watch. A pocket knife. And uh, got a couple of. Uh, I did get a car wash token back at that park. And yesterday at the park, I dug a 50 cent piece. And then today, this is a real interesting piece. It is a. I thought it was a a Japanese coin, but it's actually uh, maybe a Chinese coin. I'm not sure on that one. Hopefully, you can see. It says 10 cents or 10 something. There it is. But I thought that was an interesting. I knew it was the size of a quarter, a little bit bigger than a quarter, but it didn't ring up. Ring up real like a low tone, like a nickel, which foreign coins usually do. I've got uh, a nice silver charm, a James Avery uh, cross heart charm. And uh, that's a good find. I found that at the other lake. And then today I got a 55 and one of these arrowhead necklaces. And I found that ring that had a Lexus on it. And that ring returned right beside that. Found them one, one after another. Uh, back at the park, I did find that uh, silver chain. And all of it is still there. It's 925. At the other lake, I did find a little aluminum junker. And then I found another. Oh, I don't know. It's, it's a junker. It rang up like a 72. I haven't looked at the markings or anything. And then I got a... Uh, Probably a stainless steel. It rang up like 46, 47. And then I got that other ring that I've already given back. But the best finds on this hunting adventure is over there at the football field, just right beside it. I dug around those uh, fig trees and pecan trees. I've got this uh, uh, mercury dime, and then I got that half dollar spill. And so that was really great. Man, I really appreciated going over there and digging that up. I need to get permission and go back over there. But anyway, there's my hunting gear that I use. There's my camera. There's my uh, scoop and my detector. And uh, like I always say, the greatest treasures, my friends, are not what you can find out in the lake, in a park, or on a football field. The greatest treasures are what you can find up in heaven. So keep searching, keep looking up. Until next time, happy hunting, and God bless.